On August 29th, 1997, Skynet, a computer system built to protect us, became self-aware. It viewed humanity as a threat to its existence and decided to act. Judgment Day, as we eventually called it, marked the beginning of the war against the machines. Skynet attacks happened almost daily, but the attack that happened on that day was like nothing we'd seen before. Come on, come on. Where are the others? Where's the rest of the resistance? I don't know. Ah! Ah! No! No, no! no. Ah! I'm through. This is Private Jacob. I know who you are. There's an evacuation point on the other side of town. You need to get there. As soon as you get down the street, turn right and run as fast as you can. Now go right!
can't do this right now, kiddo. I don't want to go with no, you. No, you don't, but we can't stay here. Who's there? Oh, thank God. You're from the Resistance. See, Patrick? He's going to help us. No, they're going to get us. Please, you need to help me. My little brother, he just won't listen. I'm not going. Leave me alone. I said leave me alone. I know you're scared, but staying here is not an option. I'll protect you and your sister, okay? Uh, okay. Thank you. I'm Jennifer, by the way. I've heard there's an evacuation point near here. Yeah, I know. My people are organizing it. We're heading there right now. I'll take us there. Come on, let's go. Where's the rest of the resistance? I don't know. I came here looking for them myself. So, it's just you then? This way. I thought Pasadena was safe. It was, until all the soldiers were pulled out from the area. Through here. Terminators! Get down, get down! What's going on? Shh. Aaron said these attacks happen more often as the line gets closer. This Aaron, has she seen the Annihilation Line? Seen it? She's been on the other side of it. We're here. How gracious of you to finally join us. Where's your father? He's not coming. God damn it. Tell Ryan that we need to leave, now! No! Just let me think. Oh, you're from the Resistance. Well, thank you for making sure that Jennifer and Patrick got here safe. Are you the guy I spoke to on the radio? Nah, I, I don't think so. I haven't been able to reach anybody for a while now, but listen. I know that Colin wants us to go, but I don't know how I feel about leaving anyone behind. Jennifer just got here. And you said yourself that you heard someone on the radio. There could be other people out there. Don't you think somebody should go and look for them? I mean, you're from the Resistance. It's your call. I'll search for other survivors. Good, I'll get the bus ready. Before you go, talk to Erin. She might be able to get you a med kit. Oh, oh, and take this. You'll probably need it. Chasing ghosts? That's what we do now? Fucking hero.
Anyone in here? Who's there? I've come to get you. There's an evacuation point not far from here. You need to get there fast. No, I'm not leaving. Have you seen what's out there? That... that giant spider. It's going to get us. You have to destroy it. I already took care of it. It's safe now. Oh, thank God. Thank you. Tell Ryan I'll be back soon. There are still some places I need to check. Is anyone here? Nothing. You done? Can we go now? I don't see anyone else. I'm heading your way. What's the hold up? Tin cans coming! Jennifer! Get in! Go! 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 Hold on! We're getting out of here! Mark's about to pass out. We need to stop soon. Okay, we'll do that. I don't think we've been properly introduced. I'm Ryan. That over there is Erin. She's a doctor of the group. Jennifer's a scavenger, and Colin, well, you can ask him yourself what he thinks he does. I'm Jacob. I'm a private from the Resistance. Pacific Division. Pacific? You're a long way from home. What you doing down here? My entire division was wiped out. I'm trying to get in touch with the South Division. I've got a message for Commander Baron. So it's true? The Annihilation Line's coming? It wasn't the Annihilation Line. It was something else. Well, then what was it? To be honest, I'm not sure myself. God damn it! That's as far as this piece of shit will go. Let's get off the road. Pull up over there.
We got some time on them, so let's not lose our heads. I'll be on the fucking lookout for tin cans. Aaron, you do what you think is best for Mark. I'll see what I can do about the bus. Jacob, it might take a while, so can you look inside and see if it's safe to stay? Sure. Jennifer, would you help me? Sure. job today and you drop the fucking ball I don't have to listen to this shit sure walk away asshole this for us? Oh, did I startle you? <laughs> Are you always such an asshole? You know what? Now that I think about it, I guess I am. Since we're stuck here, I figured I'll go see if anything's creeping around the corner. I hear that you're looking for the resistance, and where I'm heading, they used to have an outpost. I wouldn't mind backup while I'm out there. So what do you say? Buddies? Talk to Ryan and see if he needs anything. I'm moving out now. Let's meet at the bridge. And don't make me wait, will you? Pipe bomb. This will do some damage. Hey. Thanks for earlier. If it wasn't for you, I probably would have started completely freaking out. And that wouldn't have done anyone any good. Patrick's been through a lot, you know? I guess we all have. I just wish I could find something that would take his mind off all this. At least for a moment. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Seems the repair might take a couple days. How's it looking inside? There's a lot of supplies there. Looks like someone left them for us. Nah, seems too much of a convenience. But better keep your eyes open. But speaking of supplies, we don't have much, but we keep everything useful inside this crate. You feel free to look through and pick up what you need. Listen, I know that finding the resistance is your number one priority, but if you stumble upon a set of tools while you're out there, please bring them to me, okay? I must have lost mine during the escape. Good luck out there.
This is Rivers, over. Yeah, yeah, I see you. I found myself a lookout spot. No sign of any tin cans so far. A couple of crawlers, but nothing you can't handle. I think I know that. The way you're shooting, I thought you'd need all the advice you could get. What are you doing here, boy? Hey, I know a kid that'd take care of you. Come on. Hey, fuckhead! Your radio's on! Or was I supposed to hear that? Fucking creep.
plasma storage that you'll probably find. Do you guys usually destroy them on site? Alive. Just checking.
sign. Let's see. Looks like they were keeping an eye on an old university hospital not far from here. Are you there? Yeah? Did you find anyone? Not yet. I'm going to the second spot. Maybe they're there. Whatever. garage, and maybe I'll find a set of tools in there.
do it? South Division has definitely been here. order signed by Commander Baron, and it's only from a couple of days ago. Uh, they must have moved on to that hospital. All right, I've got everything. What's the status on that factory? Colin? Can you hear me? Colin? Shit.
Colin, where are you? Can you hear me? Be quiet. I'm following that guy. Something's not right about him. Jacob Rivers, marked for termination. Are you all right, Jacob? Jacob! Hours later, they found me lying in front of our hideout. I made it out alive, but not all of us did. Colin's dead, and the stranger I saw is nowhere to be found. I told them about everything. I said that it wasn't safe for them to be with me. But Jennifer suggested that right now, nowhere is safe, so we might as well stick together. Everyone pulled through as we prepared for the worst. Jacob, are you awake? How long have you been sitting there? Not that long. I, I know that you're going to that hospital today, so I went on my first scavenging run. And I found something for oh, you. Thank you. You're welcome. Did you go with your sister? No. As soon as Erin heard that there's a hospital nearby, she asked Jennifer to go look for some medicine. So I, I went alone. D don't tell her that, okay? She's already at the medical district? Yep. Oh, and Ryan wanted to talk to you. Heat from a plasma rifle cauterized the wound. That's why he's not bleeding. 